the plenary session on economic diplomacy to serve national development. Hamas rejected an Israeli proposal for a week-long truce in the Gaza Strip. Nagiyan develops more industrial parks to welcome high-quality FDI capital flows. You're watching today's news on NTV. My name is Ha Zhang, your host. On the morning of December the 21st, the plenary session on economic diplomacy to serve national development as a part of the 32nd Diplomatic Conference took place in Hanoi in both live and online forms. At the conference, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ting assessed that since the 30th Party Congress, the economic diplomacy work has had many outstanding achievements. In the coming time, the Prime Minister emphasized that diplomatic work needs to inherit the achievements of the previous period and further develop in accordance with the world situation and the current period. In 2024, the world economic situation will be more difficult, so the Prime Minister required the diplomatic sector to proactively grasp and closely forecast the situation, institutionalize the policies and guidelines of the party and the state on economic diplomacy, organize the implementation of economic diplomacy with innovative thinking and new strategic vision, focus on key contents with the view of removing difficulties and overcoming challenges. Hamas has rejected an Israeli proposal for a week-long truce in the Gaza Strip in return for the release of some 40 hostages, including all women and children, their terror groups still holds. Hamas leader Ismail Haniya told intelligence officials in Cairo, Egypt, that armed group will not discuss the release of Israeli hostages until a ceasefire takes effect. Hamas rejected Israel's offer to suspend ground and air operations in Gaza for a week and allow humanitarian aid to the territory, in exchange for the release of 40 hostages. Previously, on December 19, Israeli President Isaac Herzog said said his country is willing to agree a new temporary truce with Hamas in Gaza to secure the release of more captives held by the Palestinian group. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said that Washington has a clear strategy for the future of Ukraine. At his end-of-year press conference at the State Department, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said, We have a very clear plan, he said, to make sure that Ukraine can stand on its own two feet militarily, economically, democratically. Mr. Blinken also he proposed first releasing additional financial aid to Ukraine so that Kiev can meet the challenges ahead. He warned that financial aid to Kiev is increasingly difficult as the new aid package is stalled in the U.S. Congress. Mr. Antony Blinken said that 2023 has been a year of profound tests, as Washington attempts to navigate a series of global challenges in Ukraine, Gaza, and elsewhere. Coming up next are some updated news. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ching has just signed a telegram on strengthening and ensuring food, accommodation, living and learning conditions for preschool children, boarding and semi-boarding students, and students in ethnic minority areas and mountainous areas. The Prime Minister asked ministries, departments and localities to strictly implement the government's regulations on policies to support children and high schools in extremely difficult communes and villages. Prime Minister requests the Ministry of Education and Training to preside and coordinate with the relevant ministries, agencies, and people's committee of provinces and centrally run cities 
to review the implementation of the meal for preschool children, boarding students in ethnic minority and mountainous areas, and the implementation of other policies for preschool children and students in educational establishment strictly handle the violating groups and individuals. Professor Vo Tong Sun, an Indian American scientist, Professor Grace Steins Chris, won a special award for scientists from developing countries for the project Invention and Advancement of Disease Resistant Rice Varieties. To scientists who honor for their important contributions to the dissemination of disease resistant rice varieties, contributing to ensuring global food security. Speaking at the award ceremony, State President Vo Van Thuong emphasized that useful scientific solutions are always good reference for Vietnam. A prosperous Vietnam based on science and technology will contribute more to the reason. On the morning of December 21st, an accident occurred in the classroom at Herman Minor High School, Hung Phuc Ward, Vinh City, Nagi and Province, injuring several students. According to initial information, at around 7.30 a.m., while students of class 11A9 were studying, the wooden ceiling suddenly collapsed and crushed many students. Immediately afterward, the teachers took them to General Hospital 115 of Vin City for emergency treatment. According to the Vin City Department of Education and Training, eight students were injured. Among them, one student was seriously injured and had to be taken to a hospital in Hanoi for treatment. Authorities are currently investigating and clarifying the cause of the accident. In 2022, FDI Capital in Tungian was about to reach 1 billion USD. This year, for the first time, Ngean exceeded the 1 billion USD mark. Specifically, up to now, it had reached nearly 1.5 billion USD. Currently, investors are rushing to build new industrial park to meet the needs of the industrial real estate market in the coming years. In the beginning of 2023, VSIP Nagi and Company Limited continued to invest in Tho Lok Industrial Park, VSIP 2, infrastructure construction and business project of 500 hectares in Dean Chow District. Now the company is coordinating with localities and related industries to complete site clearance compensation for construction in early 2024. We are currently starting the site clearance phase. I hope the next step will be accelerated. Wa Nagi, an industrial park phase 1, started construction in 2017 of nearly 150 hectares in Gi Lok district. To prepare the land fund to welcome FDI, WA Group continues to increase investment capital to build Phase 2 with an area of over 350 hectares. WA is planning a Phase 3 expansion with an area of 250 hectares and will start construction by the end of 2024. In early 2021, Hoang Tin Dat Joint Stock Company was awarded the Investment Registration Certificate for Hoang Mai One Industrial Park with a scale of nearly 265 hectares. The company plans to continue investing to build three more industrial parks, three tourism resort and entertainment projects. Hoang Mai Two is in site clearance phase and we are planning to invest in two more industrial parks. Nagi N is considered one of the localities with many opportunities and advantages to build large industrial parks, which is to attract high quality and effective FDI capital flows. And now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching.